So here's the important point. It's very important for you aspiring crafters here. This is in my this is in my videos, but I'm going to emphasize it here. This stuff here is bound to account, which means that you can do this on all your different tunes. You can even make a new tune, do this tutorial. It takes five minutes to make a tune, come do this tutorial, and then throw the this stuff in the shared bank, delete the tune, make another one. When I was doing the Druid True Second Life series, the Northwind 2 series, that's what I did. I made like 10 times. I made a new tune, did this tutorial, took the reward, put it in the shared bank, deleted the tune, repeat. You're only going to need like one of these right here. This is a 75% bonus to crafting XP. But then you're going to want a whole bunch of these 25% success booster thingy dingy. So that's why you're going to want to do like 10 times this tutorial on all your different alts. You don't need any crafting levels to do this tutorial. You can do it on all your alts. If you don't have a bunch of alts, then make a new tune, do the tutorial, delete the tune, make another new tune, do the tutorial, get the thing, put it in the shared bank, delete the tune, etc, etc, etc. Okay, I wanted the crafting experience elixir for purposes of this demonstration that I'm about to do. Now, I would recommend that you buy a 100% XP pot from the DDO store. It is not very expensive. And I would also recommend that you get the plus 35% boosters from the DDO store. They're not very expensive. But if that is absolutely not an option for you, and it is a worthy, worthwhile investment, I would highly recommend that you do. But if for whatever reason you absolutely cannot afford to do that, then you want to at least get your 75% pot from that tutorial guy and at least get a whole bunch of those 25% boosters from that guy. A whole bunch of them. Like 50 of them. Okay? If not, even a little bit more than that. It gets a little nauseating to keep making a tune, doing that, deleting it. Make a tune, do that, delete it. But it will be worth it for you. But like I said, if you can manage it, you want to get the 100% pot out of the store and the 35% boosters out of the store. They are not very expensive. Okay, now I'm going to go back to Voodoo Spice. That was my hardcore season 1 tune, who has only 6 crafting levels, and I'm going to demonstrate how to level quickly and efficiently. We really got sidetracked with that whole tutorial thing. But that's okay. We covered other relevant topics. I'm just going to be using 10% success boosters. You can get those for free at the uh, at the vendor, the house Kenneth vendor. Because this is just a demonstration of the of the method. It is not going to be the most efficient because I do not have a 100% pot and I do not do not have the 35% boosters. But this is just showing the method and showing some progress that can be made pretty quickly. So what you want to do when you level quickly, to level your Kenneth Crafting, it's kind of like a ladder system. The way that you want to level is by crafting these minimum level shards, okay? And you just keep working up the ladder. You can see I like I have a 100% chance to craft the level 1 shard. I'm going to go ahead and just put this up to 400. So it shows everything as opposed to just the stuff that I have a chance to craft. You see I have a 100% chance to craft the level 1 shard, and I would get 5 XP for doing that. I only have a 53% chance to craft the level 2 shard, but I would get 37 XP for doing that. I only have a 20% chance to craft the level 3 shard, but I get 150 experience for doing that. And I have no percent chance to craft anything above that right now. So I'm level 6 crafting. What, so what you want to do is get the biggest percent boosters that you can and the biggest XP pot that you can and just work up the ladder. Okay? Your boosters go here. That gives you a plus 10 this gives you a plus 10% chance. But you want to get the 35s if you can from the store. Or if you cannot afford that, you get the 25s from the um, from the tutorial and get a whole bunch of them. Bound to account, make a new tune, grab them, switch them over. Okay? Now, here's the counterintuitive part. In the old system, is especially if you, you use the old system, in the old system you wouldn't want to go for something where you had a low percentage. But in the new system, that's exactly where you want to go. Because look at the payout. Okay, I could craft this, I have a 100% chance, but the payout is 9 XP. 
Here I have a 53% chance, but the payout is 66 XP. Here I only have a 20% chance, and the payout is 262. So while I may fail this a few times before I get a success, the payout is so big that that's where you want to go. You actually want to go where you have the least percentage chance to craft because the payout is so big. With the 10% booster, I have a 30% chance instead of the 20% chance. If I had a 35% booster that I got from the store, then I would have a 55% chance to craft, okay? So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the one that has the lowest percent success. And I'm going to milk the shit out of that, and, and as soon as the next one becomes available, then I'm going to switch to the next one. Craft. I failed. Who cares? Craft again. Boom. I just got to level 22 from 6 on one success. Did you see that, folks? I just went from level 6 to level 22 on one success. Look at this guy. I only have a 6% chance, but that's okay because it's a 1300 XP payout. Thirteen hundred. 16% chance to craft. I don't care if I lose a few essences along the way because that payout is worth it. I just went to level 56, guys. Level, I just gained 50 levels. Now do you believe me that you can level quickly and efficiently? Now do you believe me when I say in a half hour or less, if you had zero crafting levels, you can get the 300 and be able to craft everything for yourself? Wait till I get going. Let's just keep going. Okay, bam, now I'm 65. Oh, this one's available, give it to me. Hell yeah, I want that big payout. Because Uncle Voodoo needs a new pair of shoes. Oh, now this one's available, 16%, give it to me, I'm level 75 now. 83, look at that, I'm level 83, now I want that one, because that one's only 10%. Now I'm at 95, oh, that one's a 16% chance, give it to me, now I'm at level 100. I just got to level 100 in, what, three minutes? You see this? And you're like, you guys that didn't know this are watching this going, damn, I can do that. If Voodoo can do it, I can do it, because Voodoo's stupid, and I'm way smarter than he is. Yeah, you can do it too. <laughs> it's okay if you fail, because it's worth the jackpot payout. Hundred and eleven. Okay. I'm just gonna keep going. Why not? I've got the essences to burn. And we're learning here. Oh, I'm gonna go to that one, thirty three percent. That's the lowest percent chance that I actually have a chance. Oh, just graduated to that one. Three percent, yeah, I'll take it, because it's eight thousand XP. See? Eight thousand payout, where if I go here I have a thirty six percent chance, it's only seven hundred and sixteen. That's like over 10 times the XP, so it's worth failing a few times so that you can get that monster payout. It's like playing the slots. It's fun. I'm telling you. It's like addictive after, you, after you're at this for a while. Okay? It's okay. I'm failing. I'm failing, but it's going to be worth it. It's so going to be worth it. I just need... There we go. I'm 145, and I've spent 4,200 essences to get to level 145. Let's keep going. Let's see. Well, I'll, I'll burn the whole 10,000 stack. I don't care. It's just pixels, right? And and I would be getting bigger successes if I was using those 25s or 35s. I would be getting more progress. I wouldn't be burning through so many essences. So if you were using those 35s, like I said, to get from the store, and you were using the 100% XP pot from the store instead of the 75% XP pot that I was using because it was free and the 10% boosters that I was using because it was free, I'd already be le past level 200 right now using the same amount of essences. So, you, you know, like I said, you want, you really want to get that 100% pot, and you really want to get those 35% boosters. Otherwise, you're going to, you know, waste more essences. Oh, I'm failing. 20, I have a, a 
one quarter chance, but sometimes you have bad luck. Oh my god, I just need to roll a 1 on a 1d4. There we go. 148. 148. Okay, let's drop down to this one. Man, I'm having some bad luck. There we go. There's two successes in a row. 3%. Let's do it. Oh, nailed that one right away. 6%. Let's do it. Nailed that one. Up to 168. Got a few essences left. And one more chance. Okay, I used a 10,000 stack, and I got to level 169. Okay, but like I said, if I had been using a 200% or excuse me, a 100% XP pot and 35% boosters, I would have gotten way past this and used less of my essences to do it. Yeah, and if it was during a crafting bonus weekend, forget about it. You know, so with 10,000 essences, I got to level 169, guys, in what? What did that take? Less than 10 minutes? So this is why I say, like, if you watch my videos, if you watch the Beginner's Guide, and you watch the Advanced Guide, don't go, don't go all Luke Skywalker on me after you watch the Beginner's Guide. You have to watch the Advanced Guide. Um, you have to finish your training. And then you spend a half an hour leveling up. Then, uh... You, you can get to level 300, and once you get to level 300, you can craft everything for yourself. Maybe a little bit further than that would be better, like 310, 320, but 300 is good enough. You'll have at least a chance to craft everything for yourself. But, but you know, 320 would be preferable. Uh, so there, there you have it. I crafted 24 successes. And I got to 169 on 10,000 essences, and we would have made more, a lot more progress if I had been more serious about it. You know, if I'd had those 35% boosters, if I had a 100% XP pot. Hey, Bobby, good morning and welcome. So that is how you level quickly and efficiently.